All right, we're back. And I have my own meat this time. Um, I guess that's still mirrored, weird. Um, that doesn't seem right. Um, let's see if I can fix that. Ha! I fixed it. Now I just gotta, ju no, wrong way. Just camera angle. Hi, people of the world. Um, okay. So, I got my mead. Mead. And we're going to start this shit. Um, I did just get out of the uh, store. I think I do have all my add-ons. It's just, it's weird in how it says I what I owe and what I don't owe. Alright, let's see what um our friends from Masiaf have to say. Mike working? Yes, Mike is working. <laughs> Every time I come into this, I'm always a little, a little leery as to what's working, what isn't working, because I've been bitten in the ass too many times by shit suddenly stop working. Also, my, my CPU is probably going to hate me right now because I am trying to compile the first episode as I'm recording this one, and my CPU is not exactly the beefiest thing in the world. Also, my graphic card may hate me because I run my exporter off my graphics card to, to speed up the timing. But hey, I have camera. We have you. I have bear. Um, still reserved. Really good. Okay. Time to talk with pretty much everyone. Oh, let's apologize to the king. Oh, yeah, this is something. Um, all these new tattoos are stuff I actually got uh, just out of the Ubisoft Connections club. Has the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornburg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth. Which secret has brought us? The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You're you rather talk fatalistic. Like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. It's rather noisy in this hall, and I like it. Which is surprising for me because I'm usually a guy who doesn't really like a lot of loud noises in the background or being in really crowded areas. It kind of kicks my anxiety into high gear. I did. And? It is not something I can speak on or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight, but your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. <laughs> Are you not happy to see your husband return? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you this not rekindle true. the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Uh, <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Talk to me, O oh son of Masayaf. Python, <clears throat> is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. I tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes, but the warmth is welcome. Of course. Yeah. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week, but always I am with my mentor, Basim. Mentor, my what cause? A noble one. A Cameras cause on a as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep away keep from the clear mead. of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. 
It will not be a problem. Yeah, um, I'm kind of tempted to get like a, a big a black screen to cover up the area back here so y'all don't have to deal with the clutter that is my room. <laughs> um, but we will see. Um, is that my part? No, that's uh, another one of these guys. You are Basin. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, oh, Basin. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ah. ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. Oof. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. Yeah, so, uh, uh, that, so he met him in Turkey, which... Um, so they're not from Masyaf as I initially thought. They're from the Constantinople um, Brotherhood, which has a long history. Um, Ezio deals with them in Revelations. But so it just goes to show that while the Brotherhood has a main, its main stronghold in Masyaf, in um, actually I think Masyaf is in Turkey. The map from Assassin's Creed 1 is very loose and weird and where it has locations for stuff. So, I've never really been fully clear as to where Masyaf actually is geographically. I've always just known it's a hop and a skip and a horse trot away from Jerusalem, Akair, and Damascus. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be entirely surprised if it was just outside of Constantinople. Especially given how you go from Masyaf to Constantinople immediately in Revelations. Okay, let's see what our buddy has for us today. Oh. He had a gift for us. A gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. Of course. Always with the booze. My first night in Fornberg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, nope, shouting at the shadows of trolls. Sorry. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringul. Now drink. Guess that works. It pulled it ahead, which annoys me, but hey. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. Yeah. Yeah. From drinking to breathing, you turn everything into a competition, brother. I must always be prepared. <laughs> True enough. Palala awaits. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Assassins. Come. Weird little people. This brings us to your gift. Is it going to be a hidden blade? These excellent I want a hidden blade. My shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets. For which I am grateful. And now, I gift one of these secrets to you. A hidden blade. Oh, For oh yeah. Finest warrior Good. I know. Haytham seems to uh, question the intelligence of this thing. Let's let's go with the beautiful craftsmanship. Let's not piss someone off. What kind of smith crucial makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool, one we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Don't make a fetish out of cold metal. 
What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from the target. Uh, they still they still have, have the no um, removal. Hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. They still have the uh, removal of your of the ring finger, which was more of a sign of dedication, and also had to deal with the practicality of the like device, it. how it was designed initially. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to a good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside, this is not something for all eyes. So they're clearly trying to. Um, Convince and induct Avor into the Brotherhood. And now I have a hidden blade. Haha. A torch. This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. But not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Train with the hidden blade. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers I, a I'm going to enjoy this. Blow. Again, this is... As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. So, I'm going to pause. Um, so this falls back to a standard of the Assassin's Creed games where um, you very much the very base starting of an actual game with assassin mechanics is learning the basics for assassination um which is really cool I, I actually i've missed this the last time we had one where i taught the basics for proper assassination skills was probably black flag where um edward is explaining uh basically he's just bullshitting his way through a demonstration on how to assassinate people in various ways as given hints by the uh, Templars who were just kind of screwing with him at the time. Um, so it's been a while since uh, one of these games has actually had uh, an actual like assassination tutorial. So it this game is really hailing back to the origins of um, the earlier games. So in we go. RB to initiate an assassination. Oh, right in the kidney. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. More resistant cannot be assassinated if their power is overwhelming. Stealth attack. A decent attempt. Hatham. Kiss my ass. Take that one down from the ledge. Ooh. Okay. The ledge assassinations. Which Okay. Again, pausing game. Um ledge ledge assassinations weren't a thing that were initially put into the game until after the fact. Um Altair's assassination attempts were very the initial ones were very um you had to either attack from directly in front and be very quick about it, or they were attacks from behind, or the occasional like jumping one where you would leap or fall down and stab them. Um, <clears throat> ledge assassinations and the old and the newer, more convenient techniques for how to assassinate didn't come until Ezio, 400 year, yeah, 400 some years after. Altair had taken over and basically redid the entire the entire assassin's tree. Well, tree, yeah, tree skill tree is gamer term. Um, in a way that people could understand. <laughs> uh, repertoire of skills, that's that's what I'm looking for. Um, but I mean again, retconning via game mechanics. So consistency's kind of gone out the window. Oh, I fucked that up. You're supposed to... I'm crouched, and I don't mean to be crouched. Go up, and yeah. Stab him exactly. in the back, pull him over. Like that. Whoop. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. 
So this is more traditional assassination. Where, yeah, you jump down, stab him in the head, or in the neck, usually going for a jugular, and that kills them. Um, here you hit, hide in the hay basket, Strike another uh, instance, later technique taught by Ezio, taught to Ezio strike. through the Codex. Mentor, does anyone intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Why of I have like popcorn, so I have a couple of kernels stuck in my mouth. Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Okay, and these twits are talking about how I, an outsider being Come. given the tools of the Brotherhood and, yeah, differing Able. opinions on that. Let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. Okay, I, I, again, I know all the assassination attempts, so I don't feel a need to stick around. Will. What do you make of my new friends? It's Interesting. generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning to. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Well, Basim for you guys, it was. Me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, oh I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good, or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, I. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. I have a visitor. England, Ireland, yes. Francia. Yes. Do you want to come in, in or what? I'm recording, for so I guess they don't want to come in. Tomorrow, How unfortunate. We make new war on Kyrte and reclaim the lands he took from us, and from there we build a kingdom. For us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest and return here at first light. Alright. So, this is actually bringing back another mechanic from Brotherhood Revelations and a couple of the other games. Uh, I think Syndicate, Syndicate really does a good job of it. Um, where it's once again, and I mentioned this in the early, the other vi prior video, um, kingdom building, have or you will betray no, this is wrong. Yeah, that cannot nightmares. be right. Um, Odin fought against they, they do. It can be done. Um, you, you do kingdom building. You, you capture enemy territories and rebuild it for your own purposes. So I, I look forward to this. Shit. It's gonna be tedious and long bowling, but ah, fuck. Well, I guess it's time to kill people. Um, but first, skill trees. Okay. So. This is ranged, but I don't really use ranged. Unless. That's way of the wolf. Wolf aligned gear. Automatically highlight enemies when undetected and crouched. Okay. Looks like there's potentially more that I've yet to explore. But, okay. So, ability damage. Add to my stun. Like, this tree's gonna be the. The melee tree's gonna be the first one that goes up. Damage. Add a stomp. And I'm now magically out of points. Oops. Let's look at my quests. Rude Awakening. In the codex. I have more. Yeah, I haven't had time to clear out that yet. But we have people. So, Sigurd. Um, yeah, so um, that's how the Norse do naming. It's your given name, the name of your father, and then son. 
um, for males. Uh, I think they do something similar where it's like um, something similar with the with the daughters. Probably Frey daughter. I I don't know what the 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 moniker is, which is a little annoying. But what do you do? Um, so yeah, you you always hear like Thor Odin's son. Okay, strong, fearless, charismatic. He would sail through the putrid poison rivers of Helheim and spin a tail that would have every warm blooded Vikinger fighting for a place on his ship. Ah, uh, too inclined to believe his own hype. Basim Ib Ishak. Okay, so Middle Eastern name. First impression of Basim is a mixture of danger and intrigue. A sense of someone thinking several moves ahead. Entirely different game. Basim met Sigur on the same day he received a contract for a prominent player for the prince's homeland. He knew the gods had favored him, but didn't care which. As mysterious and seemingly aloof as the Shaudi Brotherhood he represents, ultimate goal is unknown to even his protege. Okay. Interesting. Falca, uh, live apart from society, daughter of a seer, never welcomed to agree with the same sense of hope and dread that her mother invoked. Um, at least not until she inherited the title and the generation as a lord that went with it. She cannot yet see as far as her mother once did, but she knows enough to understand her threat is intimately entwined with Eivor's. Haytham, uh, when his world fell apart. Yeah, the Hidden Ones. Um, they didn't become known as the like Assassin's Brotherhood, I think, until like probably close to the 11th century, when um, the name is driven derived from the Hastens. Hay Hastens? Uh, Hastens? Uh, again, it's a it's a Arabic term that actually means like assassin, or is a close approximation of it. Um, yeah, I just Google YouTube, um, like actual like lore into the Assassin Brotherhood, like what its modern real world interpretation is. Uh, inspiration. I swear, in English, it's just my brain, brain and mouth do not connect, and poor word substitution happens. Uh, finds himself on an uncertain voyage, fulfilling the duties of his creed. He will never match Basim as a hidden one, but he is certain he have great use to the Brotherhood. And Stereborn, the king of Raven Clan, last of the petty kings, did not rise to power rashly, but through careful planning. Okay, and that appears to be all of that. Alright, time to go kill people. Defense of God and country. Hey! Oh, hello. This one must not have come alone. I should find the others. Well, that worked really well. There we go. You have to hold it. I kept tapping, and it wasn't doing shit. Find and kill all of. Your bees. Your bees spies. Rations are full. Good. Um, bird! You're actually gonna be useful for once? Okay, so there's known locations. Okay, you're providing me with next to nothing other than more of them up in this pass. So that's where I will go. I can somehow climb this uh, debris field. Oh, hello. I meant to assassinate him, but no such luck. Whistling, yes, okay. That <laughs> would have been helpful to know about five minutes ago.
Hello. Into the bushes we go. Sigurd must know about this. What have we here? Tell me what you see and how many ships, warrior supplies, note visits from Jarls and other important people. Learn what you can. Report back. Yeah, this is a scout party. With a... What is practically a game trail back down to camp. Bad days are being had. Bad days are being had. And encoding overload. There it is. Fisherwoman, what have you to say? Or I don't anything? know why I've stopped to talk to her. Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats Same turning the water. canned lines. I like the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow. That could work. Sigurd, we, we have visitors. Could they grow stronger? I speak as you I don't care if you speak, father. I'll be a disobedient little shit if I need to. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God's Eivor, what happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Just Northfall, take the Brotherhood boys. The they... This is what they specialize in doing. Killing people. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. Seriously, no just send Basim and hate them and area. let them do their stabby stab you like assassins do. While we, are away. we? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, yeah. but I will not stop yeah. you. No, seriously. Um, as, how many times have I had to kill highly guarded, high-powered people as an assassino, and yet just get away with it? Murder. My Murder is my game. Same storm that follows you. Yeah, my eyes are going to keep flicking to my actual self on camera because I'm a little narcissistic. Okay, I'm um, checking status on stuff. Oh, my recording's 50% completed. Hey! Alright. Pillage his supplies. I got a boat with two Let's people. Oh, wow, my entire crew just magically appeared. Oars out! Must grow in these waters. This wind would fill the sail. Warriors, Grengi. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtves end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I'm I am. Call for words, sir. Home in time to join those I have missed. Those I love in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nokfall from Kurtve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. Out. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. We're gonna have you some good times. You know the best, Bulkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor, I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stirpion did not trust fate for both our lives. 
You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. We're gonna pillage, we're going on a pillage. <laughs> Time to get our Viking on. Switch to stories. Yeah, this is lovely to tell me now, but uh. This place is heavily guarded. Raid! Ow. And. Ha, uh, I heal. Okay. Oh! Ah! Getting shot at with arrows. Come on. Hello, sir! How would you like to meet your god today? Um. Okay, so you can take. Oh, jeez! Things are exploding. Yeah, we're here to burn supply wagons, but at the same time, I'm just murdered. I clearly can't break down the door. Is there, there's something in here I want. Ah, here we go. Come on. Through the window. There we go. Leather or perfect. Okay, um, I want a torch. Supply wagons, we should destroy them. Okay, yeah. Oh, hello. Okay. Ah. Okay, I'm dying and I need food. Because I have one ration and I used it. Okay, there we go. Where... Where is this shithead? There's this shithead. There we go. He must be dead. Okay. There's a thing up here. Like, I know there's a specific, like, mission I'm supposed to be completing, but I'm distracted by shiny things. Okay, I don't... Whoa! Won't take long. Okay, uh, I guess it's just... Gotta murder some people. these wagons are. Oh, hello. Curb stomp your head in. Supply wagon, supply wagon. I'm looking for a supply wagon. That one's been burned. Where are the supply wagons? I'm on fire. I'm really hurt. 
Oh, that's a chest. Loot that. I'm like looking for food. There's one blue icon. Way there. Not what I wanted. Soon it guide me. Am I gonna catch? That looks like it's gonna catch. I have sufficient means to upgrade something. Uh, again. Okay, that burn. Burn it now. Good. Okay. Ships are coming. Ooh. Yeah, sorry, I'm completely lost as to what I'm doing. Also, oh, no, this hasn't really kicked in yet. Reach Sigurd. Yeet. Oh, hard landing. All right, health bar really needs some love. I'm stuck on a fence. Hello, people of the green. How can we not help you today? Hail, Raventlan! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are You're you, You're a friend. Master? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthor, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. Oh, well, you are pretty looking. And you are looking. of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebion. Mm, rather tall. Um, and you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The Canny Wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kirtway's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Any man who wishes to see the end of Kirtway is a friend of mine. We thank you, King Harald. Your trust Although that the bottom option, what's in it for you, does deep, make me ponder. We welcome your help. But I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kyotwe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kyotwe and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. All right. Our men will gather at Flord, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Let's Hold send them to the hell. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Yeah. Other way. Eivor, yeah. give us a hand. Yeah. Is generous with I'm his still troops. trying to get this all figured out. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool or deceptively wise. Whatever is his uh, ladder. I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Oh, we've actually finally getting the the title screen, which I may have should have waited for for the first episode, but hey. Who knows? Come on, bring me Assassin's Creed Valhalla. No, I'm just loading screen. Ubisoft, you... You sadden me. Okay. So... Where are we? 
We are not where we left. Okay, so that. Legend? An ability. Okay. So that must. Order of. Hmm. So they're still not technically officially the Temp Knights Templar yet. They're still the Order of the Ancients. The, uh. Order of the. The Ancients being the Isu, the first Civ precursors. <sighs> Yay. Yay. Um. Okay, so we're way up here. Okay. This must be a territory border or something. Okay. Um, let's check my skill trees again. We have two skill points. Let's dump them here. Oh! Yes, so there are additional. Add to my stealth. up my health which melee more melee yeah it's uh, Nordic constellations yeah so I'm probably going to the for the most part ultimately like ignore the range. I'm not very much of a ranged player when it comes to um, the stuff one, because I really don't like the bow, and two, I don't ever. Uh, if you watch my Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Odyssey or um, Atlantis playthrough, I don't really use a bow very often unless I'm fighting like a big boss enemy and I can use a bow just to snipe and gain adrenaline fast. But adrenaline's not a uh, not a mechanic in this so far, so we won't really be using a bow. At least, there, I, I have yet to see really a reason to. So. Okay. E okay, so let's continue our quest. I need to go up the cliff. Ugh. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? Mm, it's a quaint little place. We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kurtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kurtve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kurtve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Okay. Let's Today go. Today my blade Let's must do the work send of Skuld's sharp scissors and cut short the cord of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! I'm waiting for the point where it's revealed he has, you know, Isu blood. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. <laughs> oh, he's a member of the Ancients. You came Why am I not surprised? You came from yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, 
but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Speaking in terms of... Python, uh, I mean no disrespect to you other hidden ones. But Kyotver is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kyotve dies this day. On that, oh, I can guarantee that. We are agreed. I, I will personally ram my axe through the man's skull. Oh, I'm tired. But then again, that's what this does to me. At least one. <coughs> one beer makes me tired. A couple more, and I'm woohoo. Uh, encoding is freaking out. We are preparing for a war, for a siege. I like to. Again, you can clearly tell how they, the differences in technology. The Vikings, everything's a wooden structure. Um, the English, it's a mix of wood and stone. Again, their, their castle, their fortress here is made out of wood. Slink around my walls like a thief in the night. Face me here now. The fight is mine. Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed um, Once again, I'm just going to dodge roll everywhere and Look at this. hack him with double double axe. To to take a swipe at me. Oh, he's got longer reach than I do. This if I get inside of his reach, he can't hit me. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Against the Oathbreaker. Mm, nothing worse than being Are called an Oathbreaker. Beg, as your father begged, Wolf Kiss. Squeal as your mother squealed. Mommy did not squeal. She screamed out in blood curdling rage. And if you haven't noticed the ravens around me, Odin is on my side. You destroyed my life. I will tell you. You are weak, like your father was weak. You ow! Oh. Okay. Um <laughs> Rise, Abel. This is not your day to die. Hello, Odin. But um holy Why do you refuse to die? We're not alone, Chutney. The old father watches. Oh my god, he hit me once and I went down like a bitch. Your flesh will feed my wolves! You are big! Ow! 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 <laughs> Again, just block my arrows. Uh, I, I dodge rolled too far away in it. Ow! Well, I'm dead. I am very dead. Oh, not the eyes! Oh. Ah. Okay, well, I guess this is how today is going to go. Hidden One's Bureau. Building the Hidden Ones Bureau in your settlement will open new content and alliance opportunities. Hytham. I, I keep hearing my phone vibrate and I look for it. Like, what stupid notification do I have now? And it's here. Being used as a webcam. Wolves! Hi. How about... I said I don't use arrows. For each of you ha! Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Um, well, one, he, the game, like, gave me a massive handicap by dropping his health. And now our brotherhood buddy's trying to help us, and he just got his ass kicked. Um. Nope. Trick, wolf you are your father's child. But um, 
Again, loving the uh, ambiance. I just like friggin' Naruto glitched. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on. Come on, if I just stay behind you, you can't hurt me. Ah. Whoop. I'm sorry, you don't get to touch this. Ow! Sorry if I'm, like, screaming in some of you guys' ears. Um. Oh. Ow. 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 I keep thinking I've dodged away and then get... Ow. A li let him get a little too close. The only reason I'm still alive right now... You can have whatever you want. Ho. Oh. Just okay. Ran out of stamina. Ah, no. There we go. Stabbed him in the hot. Okay. Um, kind of happy the game gave me a bit of a handicap there, but at the same time, terrifying. And we haven't had. Oh, actually, death images like this haven't were a thing, major thing in Odyssey. Um. Odin. Okay. Hello, Odin. Um. How can I help you today? What do you want of me? This is staying very true to the Norse mythology that I am aware of. Where won your price, Wolf Kest, on the glory of my death. Oh! Odin doesn't like you. Piss off. All for this. Oh. But I know they would have um, visions of their gods all the time. And the fact that Odin is basically owning this guy's ass right now is kind of terrifying. That's a man's skull. three dead generations. All their names are known. It all means nothing. No. My plan will not be forgotten! Oh. We just made a tree appear in that man's chest. Also, Odin has um, one of the staffs of Isu. As, as hard as I did to survive, for I know what awaits us in the end. Death. Only nothing. Darkness. The nothingness. <laughs> there is no afterlife. And then Raven with the coin just appeared out of that man's throat. What is this? Is this a token of the ancients? Some magical metal? I don't know. I'm trying to speculate right now, and like I don't know enough about what's going on right now, and Raven like the significance died. in their lores. Your lives are forfeit. Come forward if you must into the crucible of your doom. Gorm. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debt repaid! Open the gates and you will be spared! Wallow in shit, wolf kissed! Archers, take aim! Ravens, show no mercy! Shield wall! Archers, fire! Okay, so we have to get. Oof. Get out of the way! Rations are full. Well, that's. Take the can't get in this way. Yeah, shield wall. Up the wall I go. Yeah, shield wall, deflect arrows, and storm the castle gate. Hi, shit monkeys! I have to bust open the gate. Um. How does one get to the gate? Aha! Uh -huh. Open the door! Sound the wall. Not currently available. 
please, I want to use it. Odin is with us. Oh, I'm about to run some people's shit. This is coming from a guy who, you know, nearly got his own shit ran. I also need to really up my medic pack because I just use my like one and only ration. Oh, come on. Okay, there. Let me collect it. Collect as many berries as I magically can. Ow! Woebringer. Ow! Okay. I have no rations. This is unfortunate. Oh, I'm not gonna link to him. Nope. Says weak points. Yeah. Somebody quit hitting him. Oh, well, you just murdered my friend. And you're down. Oh, I just took your own axe from you and. Oh, buried it in your skull. Loot. Um, once again, I need to find a way around. Um, if this is like Odyssey, I should be able to climb yep, pretty much any rock surface. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, yeah, I got pin cushioned. And my character's glitching out. Well, I, uh, I drank the last of that. And now I've drank the last of it. Um, yeah, time to refill this while I'm, uh, dead. Be right back. bear. Oh, I wish I had like some proper Viking mead, but uh, that is not something that's currently available to me. We went from fruit punch to uh, blue raz. Oh, I gotta be lovely sound effects for you people. Reload. Books of knowledge unlock new abilities and improve current ones. Find them all. Yeah, I plan on it. Um, yeah, once we kind of get into more of like open world availability, and we're not bum rushing through trying to get campaign stuff, I am definitely going to do some massive open world exploring. And my thing just keeps screaming at me that my encoding is overloading. Odin is with us. Odin is with us. Kill them all. Fortress. Unlock the final gate. Rations are full at this time. Give me five minutes. Nope. I don't want any of you. 
I want. Where is. No, where is Fat Boy McGee? There he is! I am running you like a freight train right now. That went surprisingly easier second time around. Why? Uh, no, I'm just not where I want to be. Oh, what are you doing? Throwing rocks at me? People, piss off. Okay. Nope. Nope. Ow. Open. Can't hurt me when I'm opening doors. Actually, you freaking can. Oh, yeah, that was really lucky. He was wide enough to kill me. Ooh, secret entrance. That's going to be way behind this wall. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Okay, there we go. Yes, okay, it's, it is giving to me. It's just very delayed on my end. Secret entrance. Um, I don't know if that's actually going to be... Yeah, it's not going to be of use. Um... I kind of want to stock up on my ra try and stock my rations up before I go in there, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Flex Cloudberry. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is me. Middle of battle. Like, where's the food? You bitches got food. Where's the food? I'm stuck on it now. Oh. Um... Okay, your thumb, full authority, my nephew. Um, okay. The chest. I found a new weapon. Wealth unlocked. Um, yeah. I just removed a man's head. Off with the head. Alright, well, I'm not magic on a dragon. Ah, here we are. Rations are full. Okay. Well, that's all I need. Oh, you're up there. Pursuit of vengeance has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you I have an arrow in my shoulder. As ashes on the wind. Oh, yeah, the uh, world's exploding. Escape the building. Well, why would I want to do that? Out. Okay, uh, why is the world on fire? And you're running like a little bitch. Probably back to your order of ancients. His father dies twice today. But hey, the city is ours now. Assault complete. Uh, I like this. I very much like this. Speak to Sigurd. 
we have the day. Let the coward go. Eivor, the breath of battle rises from my brow. The scouts will sing of this night. We have won the day. Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ria Vilke. A toothless cup may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Ulrikstadi. Tell him we will come. Ah. Battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep I'm actually kind of looking forward to them being... Ha they ha eh. <laughs> them having some kind <laughs> of, like, of Viking itself. ritual Finger ceremony in this. Um, again, if you've watched the Vikings TV series, either on the History Channel or, um... Hulu has it. If you've watched it on there, they have one at like the start of season two or three. I know. Um, Another time. Sunan. Sunan? Sunan. Um, must be the name of his raven. I like the raven. Alright. What have we now? Got two more experience points. I like. I can summon them out. Okay. A new quest. Birthrights. Long ways away. Reach Alarkstad. I am here. And I need to be here. Suggested power to 80. Chapter 4. I'm already at Chapter 4 of this? But if it's anything like Odyssey, which I dumped 200-some hours into... 200 hours of gameplay, people! Um, that's with Atlantis. Um... An all thing. So... I'm gonna untrack... Nope, I don't want a custom marker. Untrack. Okay, so we're actually going to go around and kind of collect some things real quick. Um, I'll probably bring you guys along for the ride. That'll be fun. We're going to explore Norway together. Oh boy, it's going to be like way the fuck out there. I also want to see what this doorway is. Oh, someone is trying to message me on my phone, and I can't answer right now because my phone is doing this. Yeah, um, I don't know. I think my sister said she might try and get me either a, a better mic or a, um, a proper, like, webcam for my channel because my sister actually is rather supportive of this. Of this. Most of my family is. I mean, my, uh, my two brothers are really cool about it. They, they've they helped me on the channel. If you've watched my, uh, either my two Destiny collabs, two, three of them, um, or the Wildlands series, they star in those. They play, help me play through that. Um, my mom just thinks it's kind of cool. It's an interesting little hobby for me. Um, oh, I've somehow, all right. Come on, drop down. There's a, there's a weird entrance somewhere here, and I... Okay, so now it's above me. It must be behind this waterfall. Yep, found it. Area not available. It's like, uh, no, you're not allowed to enter here. Okay. I uh, might... I must not be progressed far enough in the game for it to let me do that. I don't know. Yeah, no, my my um, 
most of my family is really cool about this. Uh, they think it's kind of cool. So the thing I'm also looking for must be hidden in there. Okay. Oh. That is cool. That is some cool shit right there. Damn! That's like a full topographical map! Okay, so I'm clearly not getting in there. So, uh, back down here. Oh. Um, yeah, and there's... Online server error! Okay, um, so one of the things they introduced in Odyssey, at the very least... No, Origins. They introduced it in Origins, and then continued it in Odyssey, and now it's in Valhalla. There's a photo mode in the game where you can take pictures. Like, remove HUD, everything, and take a picture of you interacting with the world. And, um, yeah, I can't access any of that right now magically because my wireless has died. Or Ubisoft told me to piss off one of the two. Um, because I still have a wireless signal, which is weird. I should be connected via Ethernet, but... My wireless has been kind of weird the last few days. Oh, is this going to kill me? Yes. I'm little used to Odyssey where I can just kind of yeet off a three mile high a cliff and roll fall and it won't do a damn thing to me physically. Um, hell, if I want, I can take the Spear of Leonidas and just wah, impact, ground impact and kill everyone around me, but, uh, oops, I'm not allowed to do that here. Yeah, and like I said in the last episode, um, I have access to, I can eventually get Excalibur, the legendary sword of King fucking Arthur, and Mjolnir, at least, I think I can get Mjolnir, at the very least I can get a Thor armor set, however those are like mid to end game level shit. Because I, can, I can't even get Excalibur, because once again, I can't even get to England at this point. Um, but I can definitely see Mjolnir being like some, uh, being an Isu element. I can see Excalibur being an Isu sword. Most it, Basically any kind of mythological heavy, any myth, mythological weapon from these Pantheon's lores, like the Spirit of Leonidas, Sword of Joan of Arc. Um... Or a powerful political item like the Papal Staff or the Staff of the Tsar. Any of that stuff usually ends up tending to be some kind of Isu artifact. Alright. Because it seems to have removed my marker. There we go. Yep. I'm going to try and find some of this stuff. I mean, the last one we found was uh, a book that I never was able to actually get my hands on. This seems to be a very small little pinprick. Uh, come on. Uh, let's use the stairs like a normal human. Oh. Loot a dead body. I got two silver. Hope you didn't need that to pay the ferry, man. just a small chest. But hey! Hey, I got leather and ore! Oh, that's alright. Um, I was told I can, yes, upgrade equipment. Um, will be displayed on items I can upgrade with what I currently have. Upgrading gear. You can upgrade your gear multiple times. Each upgrade will be increased base stats. Quiver upgrades will improve the number of arrows you can carry per bow type ration upgrades will allow you to carry more rations yes however I still don't have the materials necessary to do that I need a hundred iron ore fuck you Ubisoft fuck you but uh, also I'm like still really low level so um we have I have a a I got the full armor set now. Hey. And it, yeah, it keeps it hidden. I don't, I don't like the, the helmet. 
Uh, more of, I don't like seeing helmets um, when I'm in. And, okay, so I have an iron star, which appears to be a bear. Um, increases heavy damage after each light hit. Stacks up to six times. Okay. Okay, so that explains what the runes mean. Um, each of the little runes that pops up over my health bar is... Um, indication of stuff I'm... I ha effects I have using. My foot is right next to my power converter, and it is warm. Mm. Yeah, my house has piss-poor heating. Yeah, let's upgrade that. My little magic bag. That's what the raven gave us. An Order of the Ancient Medallion. And this is their Nordic branch. So, yeah. It has the tree of Yggdrasil on it. That connects to nine worlds. If we don't get to go and explore the other eight realms, I'm going to be a little upset. I want to go to Nilfheim. I want to go to Muselheim. I want to go to... N what is it? Um, Jotunheim. Asgard, technically. Helheim. Alfheim. That's what it is. Because, uh, yeah, Nelfheim, Elfheim and Niflheim are two elf realms. Niflheim is, like, the dark elves. Elfheim is light elves. Um, Mustaheim is basically volcano hellscape. Elfheim, not elf. Helheim is the frozen hellscape of, well, they're basically their underworld for the ungrateful, for the uh, dishonorable dead. Jotunheim is the land of the frost giants. Midgard is um, the realm we're on right now, Earth. And then there's Asgard, which is the home of the gods. And then I think I'm, I don't have enough fingers to properly count, so I'm sure I'm missing one or two. But oh my gosh, I want to explore the nine realms. Let's look at my skill tree. Light attack damage, up that. Up my evasion. So that gets all of those. Yeah, let's look at Codex. Harald. Um, just call Harald ambitious, like saying in Norway is a little bit rocky. Uh, in a land where petty kingdoms rise and fall with the tides, Harald has the pedigree and army to back up its aspirations for a unified nation. Called Fair Hair in his later years, son of Helfdime the Black. Known for his black head of hair. Yeah, again, um, like the the blonde, blonde lighter haired, lighter colored hairs, um, were more of a thing the farther north you got uh, due to genetic mutations and lack of lack of sunlight. So. The farther away from the equator you got, the lighter skinned and lighter haired people got simply as a means to help them absorb more sunlight and therefore make more vitamin D as they got farther away from the equator because this, the farther you got away from the equator, the less sunlight you were given throughout the year. So, yeah, for to have a someone with darker hairs up there up further north was a little weird um new style was an intimate cousin of substance okay a little weird Woolbringer. uh elite viking warriors with two-handed double-sided axes known to really want to hurt you and take huge deliberate swings uh, bashing with hammers. Okay. I think I've already killed two of these now. Um, the one at the very beginning. Hints and weaknesses. Parry attacks, dodge rolls, watch for axe throws. Good things to know. Again, if you haven't tried, try these guys. I recommend. I'm not a big fan of, like, just regular beer, because, in my opinion, all beer tastes the same. Unless you get the good flavored shit. Um... So, next little little treasure thingy. I mean, this one even is lit up in the sky. Oh, can I climb around the trees? I can run around the trees, bitches! This is something I've, like, really missed since, um... What are you doing, A4? 
one sense. Um, my brain cannot think right now. No, it's not because of the alcohol. It's just because my brain doesn't think. Um, Assassin's Creed 3 with Connor. It, it introduced hardcore parkour through the tr through the actual environment, which I really enjoyed. And my game is almost fully... Not my game, my recording. My, um, is finally nearly fully... It's, exported into a proper video. Let's inside this building, which means... Can I climb? Nope. Um, is there a back way in? No. Haha, <laughs> but I can climb the back of the building. <laughs> yeah, Assassin's Creed 3 with Connor, they introduced um, the original... Like, yeah, hardcore parkour through buildings. Why can I not get in here? <laughs> Just drop. I like how it actually, like, throws off wood shavings. But there's... An item in here I can't get, and it makes me upset. Fine then, I'll leave. Online error. Okay, yeah, I understand. Go over here instead. And then, I don't know, we may go do some viewpoints. Oh, I'm getting stuck on everything, mostly because I'm not looking where my, you know, game is... I'm not actually looking at the game, I'm looking at my freaking screens all the time. Oh, ow. That tree told me to fuck off. No, uh, this is the first time with video cam, so I'm kind of still getting used to it all. Look, another little cave. Ha! I found an antidote rune. That's cool. And there's nothing in the boxes. How sad. Okay. Um, what are you? I can't collect that. Can I get some arrows? Ammo is full. Well, that's always good. Always good to have a full ammo box. Oh, that's actually really hard. So that's that's an actual <laughs> major issue right now. Um, especially as me, if you know me personally, you know I'm a major, pa again, pretty sure I touched on this in my prior episode. Uh, I'm a major patriot. I love guns. Uh, awesome 2A. Go for the Second Amendment. Um, and anyone who tells me guns are evil can go fuck themselves. Um, anyway, um, ammunition is still like impossible to find right now. So the fact that in game I have a better chance of having full ammo load than I do in reality is well, actually that's just normal. Collect. What if I collect a treasure hoard map? All right. Well, actually, let's go to my inventory. I got a little satchel. It's cute. Um, trade goods. A flower. Read. Okay. Hunters of silver glory east of Alexstrad. The horde will look upon thee from the Torhead Rock Eye. Engage its gaze and reap its reward. Cool. And then, yeah. Um. I need three reindeer antlers. I would need to find reindeer to begin with. Santa's gonna have a few less uh, reindeer pulling the sleigh. Oh. I love this game. Ooh. More shit I can steal. Rations full. I found a bucket. The hell am I gonna do with a Fuck it, Ubisoft. Birthright. I don't care. 
Um, yeah, again, I understand we're having issues connecting to everything. I want to go to this viewpoint. I really do. Yeah, it's way the fuck up there. Of course it'd be way the fuck up there. Oh. Okay, I can't get to that one because it tells me area not available. It doesn't exist. Yes, I'm a little salty about it. Well, let's go and explore Norway, people. I kind of wish, like, I had a, a, a live chat stream going somewhere over here in the corner so that, I, like, I could communicate with people. But at the same time, I know, like, no one would drop in because, let's be honest, I have no friends and no subscribers. I got all 14 people and only one of you, kudos to you, regularly comments on my material. Don't think I don't see you. I see you. And I regularly do D&D with you every two weeks. <laughs> Your efforts are not unseen. They do not go unnoticed. Thank you. I love the snow. I wish I had this much snow right now at home. This is, what, like, at least a good foot and a half of snow. And we have a pittance, which is mostly melted at this point. Oh, look, it, it clings to his coat and his boots. I love it. get any more rations. Uh, it's the same thing with um, I played Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, you ended up getting a medical pouch that allowed you to increase your health regain and that was a godsend on some missions. Yeah, my shirt's bunching up on my back. Oh yeah, you okay, come on. You can climb this. But yeah, you'd uh, you collect health healthy herbs Health. you collect herbs that refilled your health bar and you ended up being able after you upgraded your pouch so many times you had four full reheals so you could go from like 1% health all the way back up to full if I can get back in frame from zero to full from one reheal my god this man climb a mountain Um, so, yeah, so while I have your attention, <laughs> um, I'm going to do this series, series, I'm going to work on Wildlands, and I'm going to do the Destiny Beyond Light that just dropped. Um, my brother Evan just finished the campaign, again, Destiny campaigns are actually really stupidly short, they're like less than 10 hours, so that'll probably be a real quick run through. Um, I'm not really a big fan. I'm, I'm one of the, I don't really entirely like where Destiny has gone with their game. Um, it's become a massive MMORPG, which, you know, I like those. But at the same time, 90% of that game is just grind. Complete the, complete the story and campaign material, and then just grind. For Hyrule loot, just play the same mission over and over again to get that god-tier weapon that you want. So, I will probably play most of the current season that's out right now, um, Season of the Hunt. Finish that, and then get... Yeah, I'll, I'll play that, finish, do the campaign, finish that, do some of the Season of the Hunt stuff, and then Destiny will fuck off till the next season. Um, I mean, again, this channel, it's not a playthrough channel. Well, it's a playthrough channel. But it's not a walkthrough, it's not a guide. Um, I literally just, I do this for fun and I upload it to the internet so, you know, maybe other people can enjoy it. And they see some average Joe playing a game and hope maybe 
it'll inspire them to either get it or join a community or do something. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't want to be called uh, an influencer or anything like that. I know a lot of these guys, they get online, they get massive followings, and then they become influencers. Like that, that was the thing with TikTok. Um, they became TikTok influencers, crap like that. Um, that's not really where I wanted to go with this. Um, yeah, I'm actually going way off point for map. Um, I, I really don't want to influence, influence how people think about life or anything like that. Um, damn. The damn fox. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Um. It calls it a wolf. Pretty sure that's a fox. Anyway. Um. You know, I, I don't want to be... Challenge completed. Okay. Um. I, I don't want to be an influencer. People should make their own decisions and choices and collect information... Um, make their own, yeah, collect info. Don't get your information from some idiot on YouTube, okay? Unless the guy actually happens to be really informed and actually knows his shit. Um, but that's not what I want to be on here for. I, I, I mean, I'll gladly share my opinion on certain stuff with people. Um, if people actually, like, engage with me, ask me questions in the comments, like, I would, I'll get back to that on, the, like, the next video. Um, but I, I don't want to be called an influencer. I'm a content creator. I make stupid videos for the internet to entertain people. <sighs> well, let's be honest. I make stupid, video, it, stupid videos on the internet for myself. And if other people become entertained by that, well then, good for them. Holy shit, there's polar bears. There are bears over there that are going to kill me, people. I kind of have a Steve Irwin moment. It's like, it's a polar bear. It's the biggest, most terrifying pro apex predator on this continent. I'm going to go over there and poke it with a stick. I did 60 points of damage. Ah! 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 Oh! Polar bear's whooping my ass. Nope. Oh! 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 I just killed a polar bear, bitches. That only gives me two leather. What is this bullshit? Yeah, no. Um, I make stupid idiot internet videos for my own entertainment. This appears to be somebody's base camp at one point. And that polar bear is coming for my ass. Run, bitches, run! Oh, jeez. It is right on top of me. I, I can see the flash of its attack in the foreground. Oh! No! I love how, like, the, um, the sigil for a, what is essentially a rage attack is a Nordic rune. I like that. It's a good little uh, attention to detail. Yeah, no, I, I make videos for the internet, and if people, other people enjoy it, awesome. Uh, I kind of would like to make money off of this, become, it'd be uh, some slightly additional income for me because again I already work a full-time job um, which is why I don't upload a lot more often I already work a job that's 40 plus hours a week depending on how badly my boss wants me to do overtime um, so uh, right now this is very much more of a, a hobby than it is a career choice or a career option for me um, I mean I know a dozens of channels where this is people's main form of income this is how they make their money but and they all started somewhere they started exactly where I am right now recording 
you know, stupid internet videos in their bedroom in at their parents' place. And then they become millionaire. They have millions of followers within a couple of years. Yeah, years. I've been doing this since May. Um, like, uh, the biggest guy I always come back to is uh, Jack Septic Guy, because he's one of the main YouTubers I follow. He, yeah, he started exactly off like I am right now. He's he started, you know, in his shitty log cabin, literally, in Ireland. And, you know, living with his parents. And now he's one of the top ten YouTubers in the world. Um, same with, uh, one of the more American ones, uh, Donut Operator. He was in the same boat. He, I think he's more active on Twitch nowadays than he is, um, YouTube. Synchronize, please. Um, it's the same with guys like Black Ruffle Coffee Company, although they're veterans. They all have money from my tax dollars and a lot of entrepreneur stuff. Um... Lot of, that's how a lot of the oh yeah my video's done. Um, that's how a lot of the uh, the gun tubers, as they call themselves, um, how they make their money. They they have a lot of other side side gigs. Um, there's a book all the way down there. I think that's stuff I've already explored. Um, so yeah, I made. Mean, I would love it if this ends up becoming what my, if this is what I can do for a job, for a living, you know, afford a reasonable house and, you know, like a family support kids doing stupid internet videos. Awesome. Um, as of right now, I don't fully expect that to be my life. I plan on working on what would be realistically a nine to five, but instead I work like a seven to five um, job right now. It's a four tens. Alright, well, enough about me ranting about the shittiness of my life. Let's go find out what this little yellow dot is. <laughs> oh, shit! No! No! Ah! Oh, he didn't eagle dive like I was hoping he would. I really hope I don't have to climb all the way back up there. That would suck. And my phone keeps vibrating. <sighs> I have a bad habit of like checking everything else going on in my life when I do this stuff. Oh yay, good. It did put me right here. Um Oh my god, Chris, what the fuck are you sending me? Military storage container. It Boat. Oh, Chris, you have way too many ideas and not enough money. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's a damn Halo jo dive if I ever saw one. Cold, very cold water. I'm out of the pond. Yeah, I don't actually know if Chris follows me on this channel. Uh, he said he would, and if Chris, if you aren't, I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna hurt you. I know where you live, and I know I got more shit than you. And now I'm gonna slide down a cliff and hurt myself. Wee. That was actually really anticlimactic. Ow! Oopses. No. What the fuck was... I swear I just heard like some weird, like, bird crawl. Hey, little birdies! Like puffins or something.
Slide down the hill, boy. This would be terrifying in real life. Hit a rock and you're dead. Oh, boy. Here we are, exploring Norway together. Yeah, it's... Um, no, do not crouch. There we go. We're going to calmly climb down the side of this one. No, um, this is kind of one of the reasons why I figure it might be better to slightly start a Twitch channel. Um, because a lot of the games I play right now, especially with Ubisoft games, um, they're all open world. So they're all very... Uh, just a lot of open dead space. I should say dead space, but um, it's a lot of a lot of op just exploring open world environments. So I don't have as much engaging material to deal with. It's not immediate reacting to uh, dialogue or content. I'm going to a crevice I may never come out of. Um, so like just jump on a twi Twitch, it's like, hey, I'm going to live stream for four-ish hours, come hang out if you want. <laughs> um, and instead I'm doing... Inst so, like, kind of an extra way of putting myself out there. Hey, my buddy's online. Not that I ever play with him anymore. How sad. Oink, oink. Where am I going? Okay, we're going here. Uh, oh, another thing I magically know about this game is there's like seals somewhere in this. Like cute little harp seals. I'm gonna beat over the head with a club and steal their fur. Yeah, that's the thing I actually kind of missed from like uh, Black Flag and Rogue was whale and shark hunting. Just like that's a straight up. Um, it's. I guess they considered an Easter egg in Black Flag. I think it's Black Flag. That or it's Rogue again. Th those two are very, very similar in their uh, boat mechanics and world exploration via boats. That um, come on, climb down the side of the cliff, buddy. That um, in one of them, beached on a shore on a little island is uh, Moby Dick. Just straight up Moby Dick. Um, this just randomly popped into my head, but, um, so the reason why Norway, like all of Scandinavia, and then, um, Scandinavia and, like, the British Isles are as mountainous as they are mountainous for British Isles. Pfft. Um, ooh, actually I have to swim down with this one, is, um, because they are part of the what was known as the Caledonian mountain range a former um rocky uh, geologist and I'm trying to figure out I'm looking for the treasure that's here while also freezing to death. And, okay, climb back up. Um. Climb out of the frozen lake. So, um. Norway, all of Scandinavia is part of what is called the Caledonian Mountain Range. Which oh, is. But, which is part. Which. Uh, um. The Caledonian Mountain Range is a ancient mountain range from what is called the Grenvillian Orogeny, I believe. Um, a couple of my former, a couple of my former classmates in the geology department at UW Eau Claire would probably know better than I. 
Um, it's from when Europe and Asia, not Europe and Asia, Europe and America collided together like 1.2 billion years ago. Forming this massive concretionary mountain range similar to what like the Himalayans are today. Um, it's basically the European version of the Appalachians we have here. So, hello sir. Oh, sorry, did your skull have to fall off your body? Um, it, it's their version of our Himalayans, not Himalayans, our Appalachian Mountains, in that they, yeah, um, can't form coherent thought while I'm also trying to play video game. Why is there moldy cheese at the bottom of a lake? But, um, they, it's their version of our Appalachians. So, that ancient mountain range is what controls... Why can't I break this? I'm trying to find a way in and I can't. I'm gonna freeze to death before I get in here. What the hell? I'm trying to find cool shit and I can't because it's locked behind like unbreakable objects. My bird is worthless. So. I don't know what to do right now other than just continue quest. Well, continue storyline. It says suggest power 280. Ah, uh, well, it's like my skill. My power is 13. What? What am I supposed to do about that? Seriously. <sighs> okay, fine. Well, since I've clearly exhausted everything else, um... We'll go here, see what happens. Uh, I'm pretty sure so long as I don't get into any combat, I'll be fine with the whole power 280. Um, I just need to get there. So we're going to actually fast travel back to our dock and then take our boat all the way up the coastline. Hidden Ones Bureau. Yeah, I, I don't have actual control over my own individual settlement yet, so... Again, it must be something that's further along the lines. Also, the fact that they brought back, um, like, a loading screen where you can control your avatar once again is really cool. Um, this looks very much like the uh, um, assassination screen, where you're in what is essentially an alternate time pocket vision questy kind of shit hey boys we're going on an adventure let's go given commands in nordic i did not understand a word she just said follow the coast go to quest marker And the shanties just begin. I can literally just put down my controller and these suckers will take me to where I want to go. It's awesome. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that scraping across my head, but, uh, oh, it, wearing this headset kind of makes my skin crawl a little after prolonged exposure. I've been recording for nearly two hours now. Um, Yes, we're at the two-hour point in the video. Uh, these Valhalla videos may be a little bit longer in the beginnings, you know, but I've only made you know two episodes at this point. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. How are you guys? I'm slowly losing my mind here in my room at work and just life in general. Um, Uh, 
Uh, oh, I can enter a cinematic. Yeah, it's got a swing around. Um, cinematic camera here, there. Let's let's sit and enjoy a lovely cinematic view of my boat as we head to the all thing. That's how my English would bastardize it. Um, I don't know. Um, let's see. Currently, it is projected that Biden is going to be our next president. Day. Um, not entirely sure how I feel about that because, contrary to the rest of my family, I'm. Eh, I'd like to portray myself as a constitutionalist. I'm very much for what the original founding fathers written into the doc, our, doc, our founding documents the Declaration and the uh, actual Constitution. Um, apparently I'm be being given the option to raid my enemy right now, but I'm not going to do that. Um, where uh, Pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness. Those, those are like the three primary things that govern my ideology, I guess. Um, so... <sighs> Universal healthcare, fine. Pursuit of life. Um, you know, make sure people are healthy. Biden wants to provide that. Great. Um, happiness, you know, make a lot of the gays to get married. Uh, legalization of marijuana. There's a couple other weird things that he wants. Weird. Um, no trans rights, great. Uh, a couple of my friends are trans. So all for them. If it makes them happy, great. It, it doesn't affect me. Some a gay dude or someone who's trans comes on at me like, uh, I'm sorry, not really into that. Have a nice day. So, I, surprisingly, the Nords were actually kind of really cool on the whole like guy identifying as girl thing. Um, actually had a couple of. I, I think if you if you look into Again, Norse myths. Norse, Norse myths. I'm not drunk yet. I swear. I just the tongue does not work. So, um, yeah, these they actually had like one or two guys who uh, and, and Loki. Uh, again, if you read um, Magnus Chase, um, which I have the uh, all of like three books that he published for that. I think he wanted to make more. But I think there was a publishing issue. Um, the, the Nords really didn't give a shit. Like, again, their mentality is, can you fight for the clan or not? Do you want to die an honorable death in Valhalla? Or... Um, there's technically like three places the Vikings could go for death. It was hell for the dishonorable dead. Those who either died in battle without a weapon in hand, or oath breakers, cowards... Stuff like that. Or there was um, Valhalla, which is uh, like ultimately the place they wanted to go. It was um, the home for those who died in battle, weapon in hand, honorable death. Um, yeah, mostly died in battle, which was like their greatest achievement. They, they had no fear of death. Which is kind of what terrified a lot of their European cousins when they went to go and, you know, raid and do shit. Um, it's also kind of one of the reasons why we have such an issue fighting in Africa and the Middle East. Those people have embraced death as a mate, as a part of life. Um, I recently read Black Hawk Down, and they touch on that. Where I've found a new territory. Cool. Um, where these people go to fight um, these the, against the Somalis and like we have no fear of death death is an accepted part of our life we don't care if we live or die past the next five minutes us white people Americans we uh, Americans British whoever is considered like the opponent in this we fear death we have an issue with dying so we do everything we can to prevent that um so uh, it's uh, this weird cultural disconnect 
And I think I've reached my destination in the game. Um, yeah, no. Like, the two... I think it's really just one issue I really have with Biden, personally. Awesome. Difficulty. Hard. Weak enemies. Fair fight. Challenging. Overwhelming. I'm currently in a place called Overwhelming. I don't want to get into any piss contests with me. Um, my primary issue with Biden is mostly... Um, he has blatantly come out and said, along with Beto, they're coming for our guns. They want to disarm the law-abiding citizens. <sighs> Gun control policies, in general, go about disarming law-abiding citizens. They punish people who abide by the law and are actually looking to either defend themselves, defend country, defend family from those who would do them harm or from oppressive regimes. Tyrants love disarmed citizens, okay? So that is my primary issue with him is he wants to take away and punish, he wants to take away your guns and he wants to punish those who still have them for all the law abiding citizens. Criminals by definition do not obey the law. You can ban every gun under the face of the sun and they're still gonna get their hands on them. They're still gonna use them to do horrible shit. And yes, you may make it a little more difficult for them, but if they can't get their hands on guns, those with the evil in their heart are gonna use whatever they have at hand. Um, Europe is a prime example of what how this happens. They use knives, bombs, acid. Whatever the fuck they can get their hands on, they will use to hurt you. Uh, look at England. Yes, their rate of you know gun violence is down, but violent crimes is through the frickin' roof. Leave my boat. Um, other than that, he's also he's old, he's senile, he's, a, he's an old white man. We almost broke the trend in 2008 when we hired Obama. But we immediately went back with Trump where we, we, we are a country led by crazy old rich white men. And why? Why, America? You were this close to greatness and you failed. <sighs> Fine, and speak to Sigrid. So, uh, my, the conspiracy that runs in my groups is Biden's going to get in. Within like a month or two, he's going to be deemed uh, mentally incompetent, unfit to hold office due to, you know, again, he's now, he would be considered the oldest seating, seated president. That's, that's not a title you want to have, people. That is not a title you want. So... Deemed incompetent, unfit for duty, and immediately replaced with Camilla Harris, who I want in office even less than Biden, because she, I think, is a straight-up actual socialist, and is going... Socialism is just a gateway to communism. Not good. Where is this little white box... Is it in this tree? It shouldn't be seen here. Oh, 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 okay. If they don't want me there, I'm not going there. Um, I, I'm not looking to get into a piss and fight right now. Bird. Okay, that's a drinking contest. That... Seems to be where Sigurd is. Or at least, uh, there's a blue search circle around it. I know, um, my biggest issue with buy, uh, get, uh, from guns is, um, I feel like he will be considered unfit for office. Someone else, they will put Camilla in her power, and then the DNC will just continue to control the uh, policies from the background. Uh, I don't like where it's going. It is what it is. As of right now, policies haven't really affected my life. Strong with stink. Step closer, seal face, and say that again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only strength. Your stench. I will feed your teeth. Wrapped in your tongue. Okay, people are having problems. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Shall we lock horns? Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Another drinking game. 
I'm Let's good see for you, it. Silver. What's a drinking game without a prize? Um, small bet because I don't no know how much money lights. I actually have. No matter. Man your horn. There we go. Yeah, I. Most policies have not affected my life, but then again, I've only been able to. What is it? Vote for like the last two elections. Um, so. But I haven't felt any immediate effects of those policies placed in power by the crap. Um. App choking on my own beer. So. I don't know. I'm not overly terrified of what's going to happen, but at the same time, I, I am fearful of where our country is going overall. Um, it is what it is. If Again, if you deem your government to be tyrannical, you are legally obligated to overthrow it. It's written right in like the second or third paragraph of the Constitution. Like a declaration. If, if you deem your government to be tyrannical kick it out. Of course, it's kind of hard to do that if you're not armed. Yep, I'm choking on beer. Yep, choking, choking, losing. This close. Oh, now I'm drunk, so I'm going to head off to meet my friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. I'm very crazy. Oh, I'm also, like, got my cloak up. I actually have a sweater that's uh, an Assassin's Creed sweater. The whole eagle hood. lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. This is true. Here's and a seed he, stain he. on his father's trousers. I should wipe it from this world. <laughs> okay. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. That's, uh... <laughs> I love the insults of older older culture. Like, medieval insults are just... Mm, top notch. Basim. Watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Hello, Basim. You wish to inform me more of your creed? I honestly look like a friggin' assassin. Decide them well. He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate oh, that's that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of a palm, bearing the okay, symbol of an flashed. ash tree? You mean Idrisil? Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you want to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll buy it. I can assassinate Gorm. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A blade amongst the crowd. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stepping your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. <laughs> we are seekers of justice. Shepherds of man's will. Shepherds of man will. We work in the dark. To serve, to the serve light. the light. I suppose there's no I love shame that using line. deception when honor is I mean, that, that's a line that Gorham fits a lot of, honestly, like America's uh, special operations black ops stuff. Thing. Then again, the Give light is defined in whatever America deems as nation's interests. Which I don't always fully agree with. America is guilty of in interfering in other countries' politics a little too much. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. 
I, they really are like tutoring and training this guy to join the brother and to form a Nordic clear, branch. You'll need to put up your hood for the trick to work. I'm wearing my hood. Don't yell at me. Okay, so that little silver dot I nearly ran into earlier must be the camp. There, in the camp ahead. A cloak diminishes unwanted attention. Uh, well, that just took it off. <laughs> Love how I just pull over shoulder shrug. I kind of want to just, just calmly, slowly walk in. Distrust area. Well, that's better than just restricted. Drinking mead on an empty stomach. You have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before me. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? There's a nice hard shaft in the rear. And somehow now I'm just known by everyone. Honestly, yeah, please just kill me. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, uh, I'm annoyed. Also, these are 16 ounce cans and I'm pretty sure the beer is kicked in. Why? Why? I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought. I have no idea where I was going prior to that. Um, A few things yeah, restricted you areas suck. Step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. I love how I'm getting the entire thing, the little... Okay. Oh, um, there was actually a thought I had before I, I was discovered. Um... I've actually had one or two bad experiences with alcohol and an empty stomach, so yeah, I understand where the... Do not run, you stupid son of a bitch. Um, I've had one or two bad experiences with alcohol on an empty stomach, so I understand where the uh, boys around the camp are coming from. Drinking mead on an empty stomach. You have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before me. I have some roasted lamb on Why? Uh, the cloak is supposed to make me invisible to people. Stop. What? And I'm made again. Get out of conflict to interact. Go on. Who will catch for this eye? Well, I guess kill the guards. Roll. Keep the dog so much for stealth. Follow my lead. Yeah, cloak diminishes unwanted attention. My fucking ass. <laughs> Yeah, I've broken the truce, so uh, Eve, this isn't gonna end well. You are a shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not You're break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace, and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I've already broken that truth, no so, trouble. uh... You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep All right, that's an insult. Board. You only make yourself an easier target. Go piss off. 
The old thing will have started. I should find Seeket. Oh, sorry, people. The all thing. So I do have my English right. Uh, cold little crook. Yeah, no. Uh, I, I failed. I don't know what it. I, I'm not good at the whole stealthy thing anymore. Apparently. But then again, I'm also not a true assassin, so... Fuck if I know. Um, I need to make my way up there. Um, okay, I grabbed something for my health bar. Climb. Because I don't know where the magic door is. Seriously, where the fuck is the door to this place? Can I just climb the wall here? Yes. Works for me. Yeah, I... Uh, you play Assassin's Creed, you kind of just stop using regular doors. You just parkour, hardcore, wherever the fuck you can to get up door... Get up places. Every surface is climbable and traversable. So you just, uh... Say, fuck it. Hello, sir. What's on the he says warband chief, but uh, he looks like um, Gotham, Gotham. Uh, the uncle. He looks like the uncle, and I really don't want to die tonight. So, at least die more than I already have. It is nine o'clock somehow. Yeah, uh, we'll probably end up the, end this video pretty soon too, because it's almost. This has been going on for surprisingly long. Tony Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say, he does. Thank you. His day will come. Uh, some of his men may not, oh, but uh, Gorm still lives. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. <laughs> Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask... Who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Luvina, but I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! Basically, those two are I advocating the throne. And my oath, ironclad. Gorm of course, because you're a bitch. You dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortvi. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakra, I did poison him. I put a Hold axe through his out. head. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Ava wolf kissed. You are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Um. 
let's see, we either kill him or we banish him. Both are, well, banishing he gets to live out the rest of his days in dishonor. Killing him is short and sweet. Um, I want him dead. I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. God, <laughs> I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. At least Harold uh, had a little bit more... Uh, Leniency, King than I. May I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom <sighs> is humble, tired. but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends. Brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, and I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. I then mean, war you're still will Jarl. continue. It's just a hero will be your over Jarl. Villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You I mean, I understand. It's... Drink Sorry. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. <laughs> it's similar to what uh, the mentality of the Mandalores have. Forgive you take son. the rival clans, and yes, there's a little bit of infighting, but um, they I answer no to us uh, an young. overlord, I essentially. Mandalore, the I head of all the clans. He kind of guides and, and when necessary calls the them to war. Ragnarok. Otherwise, they're left. We will speak okay, again Ragnarok. Soon. Okay. Um, otherwise, he just kind of lets the clans fuck off and do whatever they want. Besides, there was an uh, ambush. Uh, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. <sighs> do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. Um. Ultimately, all Vikings seek Valhalla, but do do I do I seek Valhalla, or am I bound to Sigurd? I think I kind of am. Or do I not know my fate? Mm. This questions, questions, questions. Um, let's go with this one. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to That's fear true. from me, That's good. That's fine. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom... So, he basically just said, um, you either serve under me, you respect my crown, my authority if you wish to live in Norway or leave. Which may be kind of the push we need necessary to go to England, form a new settlement, and um, start the whole chain. Because um, the, the Normans... Norman... Uh, the Norwegians actually kind of... They land there. They actually end up like changing the culture and the 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 actual English lexicon of the the English people when they kind of become more and more integrated into their culture. Um, simple history. Uh, it's a little animated YouTube channel that does Harold little Collins. history bits. He's already marking his territory. Marking. Um. Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. 
Harold may be young, but he's clever. <laughs> um, yeah, if you listen, if you watch um, uh, Simple History, I, I can't remember what video it is, but they have a little clip on um, how basically the Vikings and the um, Normans invading England kind of changed the English le English lexicon. All right. Uh, let's see what Sigurd, ha Sigurd has to say, and then we'll probably end the video. Yep, not what I wanted. You there, what are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. And not you. Leave me alone. Nah, I'm in Forberg. Yeah. Okay, so that would be my blacksmith. That's the tattoo shop. Dice. Sigurd is in the long haul. I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital? <laughs> would he? He would take his pleasure and move on, you moon eyed magpie, leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. Yeah. Knock. It's Avon. Open dunk, the door. Dunk, dunk. Come in, but keep your voice down. It will alert Harald's men. Okay, so uh, Harold's men have already kind of moved in. So yeah, this is definitely the push we need necessary to move and form our own settlement in the English Isles. Um. Where will we live? The English there is an assassin. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the Christian ways. Quiet. All. And here they're immediately Give talking about our whole speak. moving into England. So, yeah, they're having issues. They want to set up settlements in England, apparently. Um, but the English were very upset with this. And the whole, uh, if you, again, watch Vikings, uh, which I'm pretty sure is pretty historically accurate. They go to England. They try and set up peace accords. Because, again, they, uh, they don't really want to fight if they don't have to. They want to set up farms there. They, settlements. Peaceful lives. Trade. Uh, England just has better soil, better resources than what Norway can offer them. So, but unfortunately, uh, England at that point had been full-on converted to the to the Holy Roman religion, the Catholicism. They worshipped God, Jesus, one God above all else. You shall not have no other gods than me. So they viewed uh, the Vikings as barbarians, pagans, people who uh, could not be trusted simply because they didn't follow Jesus. And this is ironic coming from a guy who is Catholic. Hi. Um, I don't know if it's it's not visible in the background right now, but hi, Jesus. Two hi. days ago, we rid this land of Kurtva and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today, we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did uh, not. No. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward to newer lands. The assassin approves. And there make a new England. home, Aha. a kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. Okay, so no yes, watch Vikings. Like Ragnar so. Lothbrok is the main I character in those. He pioneered this me. shit. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's yes. riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. 
Uh, do I take the high road or do I take the low road? Um, uh, I'm not going to be a dick about this. We leave him for Strigamore. If you object, I understand. Again, I'm trying to play nice with Sigurd for the moment because again, Evor clearly does not want to betray this man in any way, shape, or form. So, it is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Huddle's troops. We're going to England, boys. You coming with us, Seer? How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Mm. Are we finally gonna get the cutscene? The, like, Assassin's Creed. Holla. I don't know. Looks like I'm just fading to black. Seas of fate. Um. Mm, yes, we're gonna go talk to him once more. <laughs> ha ha! Zip lines. Love them. Sigurd, Sigurd, what have you gotten us into now? Eivor, hey, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. And away we go. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. The act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Yes. Um, I'm willing to bet that we can return to Norway. Um, so... If I, I don't think I'm going to lose out on anything that I haven't chased down. Especially since it says, you know, area not available. And there's a couple other weird things where it, like, cannot get there. So I'm willing to bet we can make the journey back and forth. Um, so, yeah. Let's just go. Ready. Send let's it. to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look. Oh, shit. Eight flies and swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Oh no. You what, you gonna block the port? Oh shit, monkey. You already said if we if Sigurd, we are unwilling to bend the knee, leave Norway. An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anchor, Lord. No, you must be his better half. May Agil bless your voyage. Oh, materials and supplies. Awesome. So, um, Agir is one of the Norse gods. I can't remember of what domain. But it's time to board a longship. Head for England.
Time to sit. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those pools. Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back routes. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established the settlement in the ocean. We set sail for them. Ragi, sing a song to lift our room. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! <laughs> the ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent the season in their kingdom. There we go, that's what I want. A temperate land, lush and wild. King of Mercy. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have yeah. named its heart. The Sons of Ragnar. Again, watch Vikings. I need to like get back into watching the series myself. I've I've only seen like the first season and a half. But yeah, it, it very much is. There we go. There's the title screen I've been waiting for. Oh. Yeah, I keep switching between, um, because I have a recording here, recording here, and TV screen here. So, that is Layla. Well then, time to pop into the modern world. I don't think the times have been kind on Layla. Uh, mostly because she accidentally killed her best friend in the last um, DLC, The Fate of Atlantis. We had, we victoried. Walk away. We're also the keeper of the staff of Hermes Tregustus. And I think we're actually in Norway. How's your head doing, sweetheart? And that's a older... Wow, you have not aged well. Pills, smoking... You look like a meth addict. Sweetheart, you... You are spending way too much time in the Animus. Yeah, no. You are not doing well. And there's the staff. Which is really fucking with you. What is that in your neck? going on with this woman in a lecture at the University of Cambridge dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them since the mass coronal ejection of 2012 the strength of the earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000 this has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications dangerous bands of radiation around the poles and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say... Bought you more electrolytes? Okay, so that's referencing the... Um... Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. Sean is back? Damn! Uh, please tell me Rebecca's here with us as well. I know she got um, injured. I think she was shot in um, one of the later games. I want to say Rogue. Maybe Syndicate. Um, again, fix this? lately you look like shit. How are you the key to everything? That's a Viking burial site. Um, okay, uh, I actually have to pause this really quick. Okay, I will have to go through this in a later episode. Holy shit. Um, okay. Um, we're gonna... Hi! My lovely face is now all over your screen. It's a much larger version of your my face. Um, so... In a, the, the end of Assassin's Creed 3, we are... We're in what is called the Grand Temple. We're... Desmond sacrifices himself to 
basically prevent a reoccurrence of the solar flare that killed off the Isu. Um, it's called the Tobias event. It's based off of an actual real-life mass extinction somewhere around 75,000 years ago. Um, that resulted in the death of... According to the, according to Ubisoft's lore, it results in the destruction of the Isu culture. Their slow die off because they don't have. Again, they built the Isu genetically designed and crafted humanity to be more resilient than them. So the Isu, they they their population was not high enough to continue continue the species. They died off. Um. So humanity was left, and we continued on. We and so we've been slowly rebuilding making rebuilding a society we've evolved what we are now what is modern society um and then the the assassins and the order of the ancients have gone on to try and decipher what has been left to us the the whole saga of the the isu our predecessors our creators essentially um so that event, that secondary uh, attack from the sun, essentially, is what they're talking about. This coronal flare, the whole Mayan apocalypse 2012, the end of the world thing. Um, that's what they're talking about. We prevented that. Desmond prevented that somehow. So, but while we prevented the end of the world, apparently there are still lasting repercussions. Um, biggest one they just said was the Earth's magnetic field has been strengthened I think they said it was strengthened by 50,000 percent or 50,000 times over. As a man who's un, who's studied geology and understands what uh, how the Earth operates and what the electromagnetic field does to essentially shield the Earth from um, electromagnetic pulses and flares from the sun which would cause um, it affects uh, the soil chemistry, life on Earth, solar radiation does really weird shit to genetic material. Um, it can cause destruction of DNA strands. It's, it's what causes skin cancer, radiation smacking your exposed skin. Um, the, those light rays can actually break DNA chains, which then causes you know skin cancer, the uncontrolled replication of certain ce cells. So, they, they used to create a, a device, a, a network, essentially, of towers across the world that, upon activation, would create a bubble, a shield around the Earth that would protect it from a subsequent solar flare. We activated that trying to protect the world at the end of Assassin's Creed 3, and... Apparently, it worked a little too well. Because now there, there's a permanent aurora borealis, essentially, around the Earth, if I can remember the podcast correctly. And then, on top of that, electromagnet solar flares are already known to affect our world's communication satellites. I mean, you'd always hear, you'll occasionally hear about, you know, increased solar radiation, expects blackouts from networks from internet, cell towers, radio broadcasts in X region. Um, so we've already had, had issues with that. It's just the way this is just set us up. The, the sun is pretty much set up right now. It wants to kill us. Um, if you actually study in kind of a, a astronomy, um, you would know that our star... I think it's an M class. It's it's an average sized star. That sucker is set to go super, uh, not super, set to go red giant in about less than two billion years. Yeah, large number will all be long dead by then. It's either two billion or two million. Either way, well, humanity will either be long dead by then or um, evolve so far past what we know now that you die. Doubt you'd be able to recognize them as human. Um, Rigo Red Giant consume everything up to Mars. It'll literally expand to the point where I think it reaches um, the asteroid belt. And then, so yeah, our planet, we are Adam. 
we are we we'd be atomized, turned into gas, and absorbed into the surface of the sun. And then give it a couple more million years to c continue to just con stars operate on the purpose of we burn they burn atoms through nuclear fusion to create energy. And once they reach Red Giant, they're literally burning everything they can to sustain their own existence until they reach, um, it's iron. Iron is the element where at, after that point you consume more energy than you release during atomic collision. And so you create iron, you cre start creating iron atoms and the Red Giant collapses and you go supernova, which literally just obliterates everything for a couple light years. Um, so, with that caveat, um, the uh, sun is solar flaring, trying... It, the sun is not conscious. It is not actually, like, mentally trying to kill us. It's just that's the way the physics are working in our, against our favor. So, they try... Uh, the ESU developed a device to try and protect us, and now it's having unforeseen consequences where Aurora Borealis communications fucked. Um, everybody just start running on AM radios. AM radio is the only thing that will operate during a nuclear apocalypse. It's long wave radios. It reaches into upper atmosphere where it will not be affected by nuclear radiation. Um, so we've got. The modern day timeline has finally gotten to the point, and I don't think Ubisoft really has a coherent modern day timeline as to where they want to go with the story. They've always put a lot of emphasis on the past. So, I guess now the assassins are looking for, okay, we need a solution to what the current problems we're facing because Abstergo isn't doing anything about it, or they're trying to use it for personal gain so that they control the world. Um, again, that's the biggest thing. Templars are wishing to are looking to control the modern day through Isu artifacts, back deal politics, or yeah, behind door back back room politics, and you know pulling strings, trying to control the man's thought process. Whereas the assassins are very free will; people can do what they want as long as they're willing to deal with the repercussions. So, that is what it is. Um, I'm, I, I may be completely wrong in what I just babbled on randomly about. Again, I go on rants and I don't ever feel like I actually get anywhere. Um, but I, I'm very excited now to see where this goes in the modern day. So... I mean, I'd like to hear what you guys think as well, if you've actually watch this far into my video um, I think video analytics show that most of you guys only watch like the first few minutes and then dip out um, yeah I would I would love to actually have someone to discuss Assassin's Creed lore with someone who's as delved into this as I am um, so yeah uh, comment like subscribe and I will see y'all in the future.